It is a little later. I went and got my I went and got my oil changed. I did a little bit of computer work while I was waiting, and then I went to Target. I had to I wanted to get my mom a Mother's Day card. I had to pick up a scale because I was like, I gotta know. Like I've got to face I gotta face it, you know, like I need to keep myself accountable and sadly the scale is the way to do that for me. And I haven't had one in years because I kind of would like obsess over the number. So, so fingers crossed that doesn't happen again, but if it does, I'll just hide it away. But anyways, um, so went and got a scale, got my mom the Mother's Day card. I picked up some um, of the Rouse tomato sauce because I'm making my healthy spaghetti again tonight. It's literally delicious, so easy, and I can usually get about five meals out of it, which I love being able to just like literally throw it in the microwave and call it a day. So, but they, I always have only gotten the tomato basil and they were out of that one this time. So um, they had, I just picked up the four cheese one because that was the only one with the same amount of calories. So I did that, took the dogs out. Um, just fed Miss in, and yeah, it's like 5.30, almost six o'clock, and I'm about to cook, make dinner. Haven't eaten today, because I've just been so busy. I've had two coffees, and some days I feel like I could literally eat all day, every day, and other days I feel like I could not eat like maybe an almond and I'll be okay. I wish that it was just more balanced every single day, but sadly it's not. Um, so anyways. About to make that, I'll show you guys how I make it because it's so easy. Also, mom, if you're watching, stop watching unless you want to spoil your Mother's Day card. But okay, so I'll give you time to exit off. One, two, three, you should be off by now. Um, okay, look how cute this Mother's Day card is I got from my mom at Target. It just says, Thanks for always rooting for me with a bunch of roots and says, Happy Mother's Day, you can't be beat. I just thought it was so cute. I'm not one that loves a bunch of like crazy sappy cards that makes me kind of feel uncomfortable. So like these kinds, kind of like cute, kind of funny, punny, you know, like that, kind of light, but still getting the mood, like the mood across that I love her and I'm thankful for her. So that was adorable. Anyways, this is the pasta sauce for cheese. So never tried this one before like i said i only did the tomato basil so do this and then i do ground turkey i do the 937 it's like the yeah 937 i don't like 99 percent fat free so do this and then the noodles i use are um plant-based like chickpea so it's like less net carbs for you so that's why i call it like my healthy spaghetti it is so good. And do not, do not. We'll be right back. Sorry, we had puppy emergencies. He had to go out. Look at this. Look at this little thing. This is my friend Chelsea's dog. And he's so cute. His name's Biscuit. He's a little Maltese. Um, they went out of town for the weekend. So I'm watching him. But he's just a little baby. Just a little baby. He just follows me around. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. Uh, hi. 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 <laughs> Oh, goodness, goodness. He just wants to be loved at like all day. Oh, you gotta give me this. You gotta give me this. You gotta give me this. pot and fill it up to like two and a half liters.
So this is what we're working with. Turkey sauce. I put this in the um, water boiling for the noodles. So I put this salt, pepper, and a little bit of this nutritional yeast into the water while it's boiling. And then add the noodles to it. And then I also will add the same seasonings. Just not the olive oil. But I'll add these three to the turkey while it's cooking as well. Much flavor. much harder to open with one hand and do with one hand. I'm going to need two hands to do this, but I'm just going to put black pepper in here and in here. Naya was crying, so I moved her in here, and now she's acting like she could care less about me, and this thing just really wants me to hold on. What? <laughs> Everything is added, and I'm just going to kind of start chopping it up. This girl, huh? Mommy love her. Yeah. My noodle water is boiling and then this is pretty much most of it's brown. So now I'm just gonna take the sauce and add just a t like a little bit, just enough to kind of like coat it, but nothing crazy. Then kind of just stir it in and make sure everything's lightly coated and just let it sit in there. And then after I do that, I'm just gonna add the noodles. And it literally after that, it takes like 10 minutes and it's done. Hey. She's like, what are you doing? You are. Oh my goodness. Oh, Gigi girl. Gigi girl. Okay, now the noodles are done. I strained them. Now I'm going to add all of this to the top. Well, actually I leave about like a quarter of a cup left. So I'm going to mix this all around and then I'll add in the last bit. And this is it complete. I added just some Parmesan cheese on top and a Coke Zero. It is literally delicious, although I will say the four cheese one is not near as good as a tomato basil sauce so i wouldn't buy it again unless it's like the only option sorry if that sound grosses you out i have a puppy clawing at my feet mm. 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 it's still good tomato basil like bangs though bangs you would have thought that like the four cheese one would have had just as much flavor because like four cheeses help now but <laughs> i'm about to bake cookies and you guys have got to try these they're the sweet lorenz or lorenz whatever um you can get them at target or whole foods and they are so good. My favorite is definitely the double fudge or fudgy brownie or something like that. So I'm gonna make one of each. I just did the dishes, cleaned the kitchen. So I'm gonna do this, switch into my PJs, and then yep, yeah, get ready to relax the rest of the night. How 
pretty the sky is. It's like cotton candy. What is it? What is it? Goodness. What a scary noise, huh? This is scary noise. They're now done. Personally, I don't think they come with enough chocolate chips. So I like to add some of these Enjoy Life dark chocolates after they come out. Now for the average person, this is probably enough chocolate. I feel like I can never have enough chocolate, so probably just me. But I let this sit in there. It'll melt and it's so good. to refilm yesterday's video because it just did not look great at all <laughs> so anyways I just refilmed this video it will be up I believe before the vlog is up so go watch it if you want to know how to get this look woke up around 9 30 10 this morning and then and today was chore day, so I cleaned all the floors, did the bathrooms, did laundry, you know, like dusted, did like a good deep clean, not just like a surface tidy. So I did that this morning after I woke up and then, yeah, just filmed this video. I have a headache from hail, let me tell you. So I'm about to eat, I hope that makes it better. Then I wanna blow up my pool and just go chill out in the backyard. That's my plan for today. My wild, wild Saturday in quarantine. Honestly though, besides working, I would normally be working, but my life really hasn't changed that much <laughs> since being in quarantine. I mean, besides like not working, but I, don't really do that much anyways. Like I'd go to dinners with my friends, of course, and stuff like that, but I do work from home. So I was home a lot of the time anyways. So. Hey, I love you. I love you. I love her. You're a beautiful girl. Blowing up this pool, I got off of Bed Bath and Beyond. Okay, it is all blown up. Just get next to it, hi. Um, yeah, it's all blown up. I literally have a headache now so i just took like three tylenol but i'm about to move it outside it's a pretty good size i don't know what three adults so like the description said that it fits three adults not sure if they meant like tiny adults or like maybe tweens but i mean it's definitely good for me i get literally this is where i'll be all summer long <laughs> my little pool and my little 2000s vibe with the book oh this is the jessica simpson open book Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, she's so cute. The sun is shining. It's beautiful today. Gotta go put my sunblock on, honey. I'm not trying to catch another sunburn.
We are just enjoying the sun. Nice <laughs> back there. This is my night. It is or this is my dinner. <laughs> Spaghetti leftover. Sitting outside, still reading my Jessica Simpson book. Got my diet peach snapple, water. The sun's starting to kind of go down, so it's like shady. It's perfect, perfect weather. It's now like about to be 6.30. Yeah, it's about to be like 6.30. And I came in for the evening because um, like when the sun started going down, it's all going bugs. We're trying to rain on my parade. Just turned on the oven for cookies. So while that preheats, I'm gonna shower, chill. I think I'm gonna wash my makeup off, do a face mask. Been feeling a little anxious, like literally happened within like the past 30 minutes. I just feel like super anxious. See, so I'm going to journal and maybe watch a movie or something. I brought, <laughs> I bought the Twilight Saga um, like last week. And so I've been slowly watching all of them. I watch Twilight like almost every night. It's truly one of my favorite movies. But um, yeah, so about to do that. I'm in the same cookies I had last night. I'm telling you guys, every single night I literally have these. I make sure to leave room and my calories to have one of each and like account for little added chocolate chips. So good, literally so good. Hello and happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the vlog. It's been a few days since I did a vlog, but um, I don't even remember the last day that I actually vlogged, but better late than never, right? Consistency is key. Um, okay, anyways, today is kind of a content and like shoot day, so I actually don't look like a sewer rat. And I actually did like a full glam. Like we got, I did little individual lashes, honey. We have full coverage foundation on. We did a beat today, okay. This morning I did an interview via FaceTime with a local news, um, like WBRZ. There's like a local news in Baton Rouge. And or probably Louisiana, I don't really know, but they found me through Instagram and reached out and wanted to wanted to ask me about, you know, like what it's like being a freelancer or creative in the wedding industry during this time, how I'm affected, X, Y, Z. So we did that. Not sure when that'll be coming out, but I will obviously plug it when it does. So that was cool. After I did that, I did a little bit of work on my Vita's Instagram, uploaded today's post, um, did a poll in stories because I'm trying to come up with a giveaway for Vivita and I didn't know what you guys would rather if you wanted like the giveaway of the lounge set or the champagne gang sweatshirt so trying to you know get my wheels turning as far as that goes I have a list I want um I've been kind of forming like a list of things that I want to talk about in my next like not vlog style YouTube video um, I think I'm going to do like a get to know me video because I feel like you guys on YouTube really don't know me that well. I'm way more active on Instagram. So I kind of want to just build this platform up. As you guys know, I said in my last video, I wanted to do a video a week. So that's going to be this week's video. It's just like a little get to know me, fun facts about me, yada, yada. Along with obviously the vlog because Vlogs are just my favorite. They just really are. So after I do that video, I also need to shoot some more content for Vivita because I think today or tomorrow um, that is going to be the last Instagram post that I have scheduled. I also have another drop coming. It's a basic. I asked you guys what you wanted more of and one of the things were basics that you can wear all the time. So I definitely provided with that. I have a white V neck bodysuit but it's like not skin tight it's amazing i love tucking my shirts in they're hardly ever out i just think it's so much more figure flattering to tuck your shirts into like jeans or shorts or even sweatpants or whatever um even yoga pants i just i don't love the look of like baggy shirts um or okay let me take that back i love oversized like graphic tees like huge 
you know, shirts that you wear with um, biker shorts, love that. However, not a fan of like that weird in between, not really oversized, just like dangling down, barely shirts, no. So I like them tucked in. I think it's so much more figure flattering. So I just like, but the thing with tucking them in is sometimes like when your jeans are like fit like a glove, then it just like kind of makes you look like you have more of a pooch or it's like bunchy. So I was like, um, let's do a freaking bodysuit. That way you don't have the extra fabric on the bottom going into your jeans or your yoga pants or your shorts or whatever. So yes girl got that coming so i need to shoot for that i need to shoot more content for earrings and another fedora hat um but yeah so gonna do that but before i do that i'm going to go to burger king and honey secure the lunch goods i'm gonna get my new i've done it like the past three or four days go to burger king get a eight count nugget and a value size fry it's like right around like three 350 cows so not terrible and it's so delicious um yeah so i'm gonna do that with a little slight duncan barbecue sauce eat my lunch get my you know endorphins pumping get my energy back up and yeah do that so i will obvi obviously bring you guys along but i just kind of wanted to drop in let you know what i've been doing so far today and the rest of what we have to do. Um, usually on content days, I'm just by myself, obviously in my house, pumping out tunes. I have a summer chill playlist on Spotify. If you're not following it, you should. It's like low key bumping tunes. Um, and what I mean by that is like I get overstimulated kind of easily. And so whenever I'm trying to like vibe out and really work, I can't do like crazy rap music or like whatever that I feel like they're yelling at me or it's just like too much the bass is too much but sometimes I want a little more than just like soft jazz you know so the low-key bumping tunes are where it's like a beat but it's like chill like you're at the beach you could be outside you are just it's just soft vibes but they're upbeat but they're low-key upbeat you know what I'm saying so that's what that is it's my favorite kind of music i really have no idea what kind of genre you would put it in but if you're not following it and you also like that honey go follow it on spotify because i'm not gonna lie it's pretty dang good so i'll vibe out have my music blasting but it's still not overstimulating because it's not like crazy you know like the bass isn't wild and out and stuff like that and i will literally just have my notepad, like I have my notepad here where like I'll put down notes and just anything I'm thinking of, just write it down because I will forget. So I literally right now have one, two, three, four notebooks scattered because I try to keep, you know, like notebooks for each thing. I have products laying in front of me that like I wanna shoot. Um, I gotta do flat lays for certain videos. So it's just like, it's honestly my favorite kind of days though because I just feel so creative. It's like when I just really get those creative juices going, my little wheels turning and I just feel inspired. I feel like I have a purpose. It makes me feel productive. Don't know if I just spat, but it makes me feel productive. I feel like, you know, for me personally, um, that's how I'm coping is just staying productive, feeling like I'm still plugged into my purpose and that I'm achieving goals and just finding new ways to do it and really trying to survive this time because, honey, a lot of small businesses aren't going to make it and I'll be damned if I don't make it, okay? We got to do this thing. Um, yeah, so, but, you know, if you're coping by just literally getting, like, being awake and whatever like i respect you like you do whatever is done for you my coping mechanism is feeling productive and feeling like i got a purpose in life still shoo gonna do that anyways let's go to burger king because i'm like hungry hungry I'm sorry? I know. I get the same thing too every single day. Uh, 
Sure. Sure. Until August, yes. Thank you so much. Is there barbecue sauce? Barbecue? Okay, thank you so much. Right, you, you too. Yo, he called he called me out. He straight called me up. He's like, you're here like almost every day. That's when you know. That's telling me he was like, Yeah, I'm tired of being here every day. And I was like, hey, at least you can still work. Like, I'm out of work until August. So that's good. And he was like, Do you want to come work here? And I was like, and then I was like, oh my god, I didn't mean to offend him if I just offended him. And I was like, sure, until August, yes. So, cheers. But goods are secured. Fries. Eh. Just a slight dunk. Mm. Oh my god, I really hope I didn't offend that guy's feelings. Wow. Mm. Hey, what's the matter, honey? If I don't come back on this vlog, I love you guys and I will see you in the next vlog. And if I do, ignore this goodbye.